this first video is going to be something pretty basic, pretty simple. And some of my later videos is going to be more technical, but I'm also going to check up on this project that I'm doing right now. So about six months ago, I bought, I want to say it was six pomegranates. And when I counted it out, it, if you remember, it was over 6,000 seeds that were in these pomegranates. Just an insane amount of seeds. These things were huge. So what I ended up doing is taking those seeds and planting. See the little planters there. So planting a bunch of seeds and we're gonna start a pomegranate farm. And I mean, so there are three trays right here. We have um, another tray right over there on the counter, but then um, two more trays in our room. And so I was trying to mix things up a bit. So right here, um, with all these, these are the little peat moss discs that you have for actually germinating the seeds. And even though I bought the pomegranates about six months ago, what I ended up doing was taking all the seeds out and I wanted to wait until the optimal time to plant and get them to germinate and have where I could have them outside so then I'd, at a time when I wouldn't have to worry about frost or any of that. <clears throat> but the funny thing was, so I was looking at it and most things were saying that if you dry the seeds out, it'll be 30 plus days before any seeds will germinate. And I was like, okay, great. So I planned it out after planting, four days after planting out of around 6,000 seeds, one of them germinated in four days, which was awesome. So they can germinate a lot faster, but then Let's see, I believe we're about two weeks in after planting, and now I have somewhere around 100 that have sprouted. All right, so one of the other things I wanted to test with growing all these pomegranates for our farm is basically what we're doing to germinate them. So these bins, we have where, as you can see right here in the bottom, we have just pea-sized rocks that are in there just for drainage purposes, and then the soil on here we have where it's actually about 50 50 mix of peat moss and potting soil and i figured just having where we can seal it in here have where i mean it's not perfectly sealed as you can see with the lid flexing but it keeps most of the moisture in there and this way we can have where we plant stuff and it's really low maintenance so people that have very little time to actually work on things like this. They can plant a bunch of seeds and then basically forget about it for however long until the seeds start to germinate. And these are also really nice because you can actually stack them. I only have two high right now, but I mean, obviously you can stack on until it's actually causing an issue where it's bending the lids in or breaking them. But I'm going to test to see how well the seeds will germinate in this condition. And here, I'll show you the other bins too. All right, so I just wanted to show again these little planters, these little jiffy ones. Um, they're pretty inexpensive and you're able to plant 72 of these little peat moss seed starter pods in there. And um, the bad thing though, is it is really weak. So you can't actually stack multiple planters on, so it's kind of a waste of space right here, which is another big reason why I'm trying out these Sterilite containers to see how well they do. But I do want to point out that so far, I haven't had any of the seeds germinate in the little Sterilite containers, but in these containers right here, I've had uh, around 100 already germinate. These pomegranates, they were planted about two weeks ago, and here is how much they've grown so far. And definitely don't be discouraged if you don't have growth like this with your pomegranates after two weeks. Because like I mentioned, I planted around um, 6,000 seeds, and <laughs> I have around 100 that have sprouted at the two-week period, so definitely don't expect all of your pomegranate seeds to have sprouted by then. We're gonna do updates on all the projects that we do 
especially with these pomegranates, we're going to have a little over 10 acre pomegranate farm that we're starting. <clears throat> and I mean, obviously there's going to be a lot more than just pomegranates planted there, but that's going to be one of the main perennials that's going to be on our land. And we'll do updates on that. We'll do a whole bunch of other projects. If you have any recommendations for projects that you want us to work on, feel free to leave it in the comment section and I'll look through every now and then. You can also find me on LinkedIn and we're going to post some of the details of some of the projects we're working on on LinkedIn as well. Not going to make a video for everything, but um, in this channel we're also going to start going more technical into things. I've already made a post on LinkedIn about it, just about the basically carb carbon emissions is not as terrible as a lot of people are saying. Um, it's actually a really, really useful thing, really great for anyone that's trying to grow things now. Um, you just need to, I don't know, th think of the bright side, think of these carbon emissions as misallocated resources that you can take advantage of this, what's considered a waste product. And all, <laughs> along those lines with waste products, we're also going to do where <clears throat> we're going to show some small business plans on harvesting the nutrients from effluent, which Yes, it's from people using the bathroom and getting those nutrients and being able to actually sell it in a commercial setting. So we'll cover that probably in another few months. We're going to start covering that because we want the algae to build up quite a bit. But yeah, we'll keep you posted on that. Thank you for watching.